Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rox and today I'm going to be talking about Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. Grown is a young adult novel that came out last year and is classified as a thriller mystery, but I think that's not a really very accurate representation of the book. So before I get into that, let me tell you what it's about. In Grown, we follow Enchanted Jones, who is a 17 year old girl who just really wants to sing. Her family isn't really very supportive of this dream, but she kind of tricks her mother into letting her go to an audition where she meets Corey Fields, who's a child, who was a child prodigy. He is one of the most famous people in the world at the moment. He's one of the most popular, most talented R&B artists out there. Corey sees Enchanted and he kind of gets talking to her. He promises her a really wonderful career in the music industry. He promises to take her under his wing to get her into his recording studio. He promises the world to Enchanted. And obviously, Enchanted, who's a 17-year-old girl, really wants this all to be true, so she believes Corey. After going on tour with Corey, Enchanted realizes that he's not really the person he seems to be. He's very manipulative, he's very abusive, and he doesn't really follow through on his promise to take Enchanted into the studio and start recording music with her. So that's just a general description of the book. The mystery thriller part of it comes in because the novel starts off where we find out that Corey Fields is dead. That's not a spoiler, that's literally how the book starts out. His body is found, there's a lot of blood, and Enchanted is the only one on the scene, so she is presumably guilty. Throughout the novel, we obviously go back and we kind of explore the story to how it got to the stage. Now, this is a very difficult novel to read, but I think it's very important. Before it starts off, this is something that I really appreciate in this book and that I would like to see in more books. It starts off with a list of trigger warnings. These trigger warnings include uh, rape, sexual assault, abuse, domestic abuse, child abuse, pedophilia, kidnapping, opioid abuse. There's some murder in it as well. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of manipulation. I think the manipulation bears the most weight because it is, it's, it's quite a lot. So now I'm just going to get a bit into my thoughts of this book. I gave it five stars, so I think this is a really great novel and I highly recommend it to everyone. But I also know that this book wouldn't be for everything for everyone because it can bring up a lot of trauma. So when we meet Enchanted, we kind of get this idea that she's very mature. But I think this is a very false sense of maturity because her parents leave her alone with her younger siblings a lot. She has a lot of responsibility in caring for these younger siblings. And I think that gives us the false impression and gives Enchanted the false impression that she is a very mature girl. But at that age you still have a sense of naivety. You, you don't really see these things through. And I think that's a very big part of the novel is that it's told first person through Enchanted's view and we can see all these things Corey is telling her, promising her, but also doing to her. And we immediately recognize that this is grooming, this is manipulation, he is abusing Enchanted. But Enchanted doesn't see it that way, she sees it as love. I think it's also one of those things where she really wants to be seen and she really doesn't want to feel invisible which a lot of girls at that age don't want to feel like and a lot of girls really feel like they're so invisible at that age so enchanted comes along someone sees her and obviously she likes that she likes that someone sees her and someone loves her even though we as the reader can immediately see that this is not love Corey also prevents enchanted from Having any contact with her old friends or with her parents, with her family, the people she left behind, she's really cut off from everyone. There's a lot of isolation in this novel and I think that is the most prominent um, elements that we can see in an abusive relationship. Also keep in mind there's a huge age gap between Corey and Enchanted. Enchanted is 17, Corey is 28 years old and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the age gap relationship. And even in the novel we can see this because one of Enchanted's friends is in an age gap relationship. But these contrasts are so huge because this one relationship started off when both of them were minors. Whereas Enchanted's relationship with Corey starts when he's 28 and she's 17 and he forces her to do a lot of things that she's not comfortable with. He forces her out of her comfort zone. He puts her in dangerous situations with himself mostly, but also um, with drugs. So it's definitely one of the most heartbreaking novels I've read in a very long time. And it makes you so angry. I had so much anger towards this book. 
but there was a time I was a bit confused. Was my anger towards the book or towards the situation? Which is very reminiscent of what actually happens in real life in the music industry as well as in the film industry. We see it a lot in Hollywood. A lot of people try and hide it. And that was another thing in the novel. All the adults really let Enchanted down, which just again brought up so much anger for me. And I'm not talking here about her parents. Her parents made some mistakes, but they really tried very hard to get Enchanted back and to get her to safety. But I'm talking about all the other adults. There's a lot of Corey's co-workers all in the music industry. There's his assistant, his security guards, and some of the friends he has. Then we get to the police. These people do not take any of Enchanted's words, any of Enchanted's problems seriously. Um, in fact, they help Corey. They enable him. They not only allow his behavior, but they enable him. And that is obviously something that truly does happen. So it's very infuriating to read about. Another thing that's also very infuriating to read about is how Enchanted's trauma was dismissed, which again is a reflection of real life when a lot of girls, especially black girls, have their traumas dismissed or ignored. I still would suggest this novel to, like I said, most people. Obviously, there are trigger warnings, so look at those before you decide to read it. But I do think it's very important for young girls to read this novel. I think in terms of the experience they might get from it, the lessons they might get from it, Children are naive. Children are going to be naive. So we need to help them as best we can. And I think this novel is an example of something doing that. It's kind of telling children that you have a voice and you can use it. It can show young girls that this behavior is not okay. Manipulation is not okay. If someone makes you feel uncomfortable, that's not okay. This novel could really help young girls with doing that. So I really think it's an important book for that reason. When it comes to the actual writing of the book, I thought it was very fast-paced, but I do think the ending of the Denamu could have been expanded upon a bit. It was it was very quick. And um, I also do think, like I said, the classification of this as a thriller is not really accurate. It can just be put as a contemporary because the thriller aspect is it's not that um it's not that big a part of the novel as a whole. And that could give some people the wrong impression of the book before they pick it up. I was going through some of the reviews on Goodreads and a lot of people were very upset about this. Which is understandable if you're promised a thriller and it's not really delivered to you. You can be disappointed. That's fair. So I don't think, don't go into this book expecting a thriller. I also saw that a lot of people had a lot of issue with this book being classified as young adult. Because it deals with so many heavy, heavy, heavy and dark topics. But I think that's the audience for it. I think young adults are the audience for this book. And those are the people that should be reading this book majority of the time. Although this work, book could have worked really well as an adult book, I think it's perfectly fine for a young adult audience. I went into this book with very high expectations. Even though this is my first Tiffany D. Jackson book, I went into it with such high expectations. But those expectations were met. So I'm perfectly content, perfectly happy with this book. I thought the writing was pretty great and I will definitely be looking into other Tiffany D. Jackson books. I think she's a wonderful author and I'm so excited to continue with the rest of her backlist. It's a bit weird that I start with literally her most recent novel but there you have it. Okay so I just thought I really wanted to talk about Grown and yes I gave it five stars and I think you should read it. I think it's a very important book and it is a really great story and it stays with you for a bit. Like I felt so much anger towards that book and towards the situations in the book, but like it's really deep in my heart now. So if you've read it or you decide to read it, let me know. And thank you so much for watching this video.